everyone and welcome to Talk Time Africa. As always, I'm Nikki. And guess what? This week we're bringing the show to you all the way from New York, where are the Face List Awards. And it's an awards and launching show put together by Face to Face Africa. It's an online magazine just launching uh, in New York City, and we're here at this prestigious ballroom. And we're going to be talking to the special guests, the honorees, and the organizers. So stay tuned. It's an exciting show. Hey, everyone. Still on the purple carpet with Collins Odogo of Face to Face Africa. Hey, Collins. How you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm having fun. You're good. Thank you so much. You look better. Oh, thank you. It's like, you know, it's like you're all blinged out, you know. Uh-huh. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Oh, it's almost you. like uh, for somebody who, who owns or dreams to have a talk show one day. You got the beat on me, like seriously, you're, you're where I want to be. You're being sly on me, come on. Uh, come on. <laughs> but no, it's, it's great to have you guys out. It's great to, to, to talk about Face to Face Africa and, you know, I can talk all day. Okay, great, great. That's what I want you to do. No. <laughs> so what I want to ask you is, what is Face to Face Africa? Face to Face Africa is, the initial vision is to restore and redefine Africa's image. And what we plan to do that with is the best way possible, which is visual articles and videos so what that is what that starts out to become means that we're putting out that one-stop shop online media agency for all that is Africa right we're starting out with our online magazine which is going to launch tonight we'll show you a preview tonight and then from then on you know the sky's the limit you know who knows am I going to print by going to TV, right. by going to actual TV dramas, but you never know. There's a lot of things that we've talked about on the back end that we just want you to stay tuned. Okay. But the cool thing about Face to Face Africa is just being part of it on the inside level is the fact that everybody's young, everybody's fresh, but everybody also has that focus and that meticulous nature that transcends their years, yeah. which is really exciting. Yes, it is. And I should say that he's the executive branding manager for Face to Face Africa. Now tell me, Collins, what excites you, what fascinates you about Africa? I think it's almost like seeing myself move from that shift from when I was little, you know, growing up and then moving, you know, traveling about to London and then coming up for school. I always had that, you know, I wanted to be more British or more American than anything. And then having that paradigm shift to the point where it's such an exciting time to be an African. It's such a fascinating time to be African. We're, we're doing significant strides. We're becoming top billionaires. And you know, it's like you don't have to leave the continent anymore to chase after that dream. That's the exciting thing about the continent. That's the most beautiful part of the continent. The fact is, each and every one of us here, far at home and abroad, is a symbol that the continent is beautiful, it's bright, and it's brave. And it has bright people just like you. We are proud of what you guys are doing. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you so much. And hopefully, you know, you guys should definitely definitely stay tuned to Talk Time Africa. And Hopefully, you you definitely be you definitely definitely be captivated like I have been captivated. So it's nice meeting you. Hey everyone, welcome back. We're back here on the purple carpet of the Face to Face Africa Awards, and we have here none other than the most downloaded black male model on the internet, my brother Ngo Okafo. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, good. Are you having fun? I'm having a great time. All right. I'm so happy to be here. It's going to be a great event. It's a great location, great space. There's so many people here. Like I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm honored to receive the award today. Good, good, good. Yeah. You look wonderful. Thank you. Thank okay. you. You got to try. You know, you got to always represent. All right. All always. Right. So I know that one of your passions is to create an awareness yeah. for the sports in Nigeria. Yeah. So how do you ensure that the uh, provisions that you make will go to the right hand, given the corruption in that country? Well, what ideally what I want to do is to build boxing gyms you know, in Nigeria, different parts of Nigeria. I'm actually going to be involved in the building of the gyms. So I'm not just going to send money and you know, think that miraculously the gyms are going to get built. No, I'm going to be physically involved. I'm going to be there, make sure it starts, you know, and I have family in Nigeria too, so I have people always overlooking the projects that are going on. Kind of like script them into the business. Exactly. Okay, exactly. all right. So now you are an honoree for this Face Awards, yeah. and that shows, you know, the level of achievement that you have in this country and your commitment to the cause of cleansing the image of Africa. Now what fascinates you about Africa? Well, 
I grew up in Nigeria. You know, I was in Nigeria for 16 years, and um, every who I am today is because of my upbringing. You know, uh, my hard work, my perseverance, my dedication, and just humility. You know, African people are very humble people and very hardworking people. So for me, that is dear to my heart and um, I believe that that should be a sense of pride. We shouldn't be seen as a bunch of naked people running around the National Geographic, you know, and um, I want to change the shame that a lot of people feel right. when, when they're asked, are you African? You know, I, I want people to stop yeah. lying about being African and be proud and own own the continent of Africa, wherever it is that they're from Africa, be it Nigeria, be it Ghana, Senegal, whatever, be proud, you know, and I, I, like I work so hard because I want people to see me and say, wow, he's proud of who he is. I want non-Africans to even see me and say, damn, I want to be, I want to be like him, I want to be an African, I want to be Nigerian, you know, and I, that's what I want, and I want people to want to know who we are, you know, that's why like every day like I come up, I try to come up with ideas to change the way people see us you know thank you and we are sadly proud of you thank you and like I said he's the most downloaded black male model on the internet and he sure looks the part thank you thank you and for talking you know, with you, us you have to go check out my website uh -huh. it's www.getingo.com it's g-e-t-i-n-g-o dot com okay. or just google my name it's n-g-o okafor o-k-a-f-o-r and check out all the articles and you know stay up on what I'm on, uh, on all the things that I'm doing alright we will yeah. we'll keep Thank up everyone. with you uh, I have standing with me on the purple carpet she's none other than former CNN Correspondent Lola Ogunaike. Thank you for joining me on the purple carpet. Thank you. You look stunning this evening. Thank you. So do you. Thank, Thank you. you. Great company. All right. Thanks. And this is a, an awesome idea. We see how these young people have put together this case, this awards. And, you know, I want to know what fascinates you about Africa. Well, there's so many things that fascinate me about Africa. The, the first thing being my husband. Oh. <laughs> He's Nigerian. I'm of Nigerian descent. My parents were born and raised there. I was born and raised here. Um, but, you know, everything from the food, the clothing, the people, the energy, the excitement about the future of the country and the continent, it all excites me about Africa. And you, can I just say that you, we are proud of you also, Thank your you. great accomplishments. What are you getting into these days? Oh, I'm getting into way too much. <laughs> I wish I was getting into bed right now, but hardly. I've got um, my interview with Iman for BT International is actually airing tomorrow, 8 p.m. GMT time. Where's the camera? Which camera? Right, yes, so everybody watch that. 8 p.m. GMT time. It was, uh, I interviewed her for about two hours. We edited it down to about half an hour, so it's a great sit-down special with her. We talk about fashion, we talk about cosmetics, we talk about uh, being, her being a model, a refugee, and um, some of her home life with David Bowie, her rock star husband, so it's really good, and she's fascinating. I've interviewed her several times over the years, but I think this is our best interview yet, so you must tune in. All right, all right. Well, thank you for talking with <laughs> Thank you for talking. She really wants you to watch that interview now. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on the face, Lisa. What's purple carpet? We enjoy talking to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love that green eyeshadow. Thank you. Zoom in on that. <laughs> We'll be right back. Hi everyone, I have Janelia here on the purple carpet of the Faceless Awards and she's a performer on tonight's awards show. Hi Janelia, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look stunning. I First of all, I saw the pink and the and the green because green is my favorite color and you look stunning in those colors. Thank you, thank you. I love color. I'm a big fan of color. Everywhere, in my food, my fashion, my house, everywhere. When you say food, what kind of food do you put color in? Like, well, as in uh, the perfect place for me would be like some jollof rice which of course is like reddish with some spinach which is, which is like greenish right. with some plantain which is like brownish <laughs> some carrots which is like orangish yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned jollof rice can I assume that you're from Nigeria yes I am I'm from Nigeria what part of Nigeria I'm, I'm Yoruba I'm actually half Yoruba half um, American so what are you singing tonight love song Yoruba I just released it about a month ago and it received so many hits and I'm just so happy that oh, I'm happy about the reception I'm receiving over the song so I'm gonna be performing that tonight and 
and I'm going to be performing um, a song which is a tribute to Angelic Kijo and we know she's one of the honorees right, tonight so right. I'm going to be doing Agolo to honor her so I'm really excited about the opportunity because she's uh, one of the people that I've looked up to for so many years as in she's like one of the world music artists that's right. like doing really well here in America right. she's a Grammy Award artist so I've really looked up to her for many years so I feel so honored that I'm going to be able to perform this song in front of her because I've sang it many times at clubs and festivals and things like that so it's nice to actually be here to sing it to her Impressive. yes right, yes right. so I'm really excited I am looking forward to that also I'm sure it'll be great yeah. thank you so much for talking to you welcome me. my pleasure Hi everybody. Uh, now I have Mamie on the purple carpet of the face awards and she's gonna tell us about her designs hi Mamie how you doing hi I'm doing great thank you so much for having me I'm Wonderful. so excited thank you very much I'm excited tonight because they're showcasing three of my collections from Mamie by Mimi's Hakator. So I'm a little bit, you know, overwhelmed. Um, they will have like a couple of the dresses on there on stage, so I'm very excited. For, I mean, I'm focused mainly on like, you know, sexy, form fitted dresses, something very, very girly, and something that you could dress up and dress down, and you could use it for whole seasons, you know, some things like that. And are those ready available? Where can we get those designs? You can get them at www.mimishackatour.com Or you can, you know, you can also get it on Facebook slash mamiesisejana.com So, um, but like if you go online, even if you tap like female clothing, the website should pop up. But I will spell it out. It's uh, www.mimishotcou T U R E dot com. So it's a long name. She's a good speller too. <laughs> Thank you, Mamie, for talking to me. Thank you so much. I'm honored. We're getting to the close of the Facelist Awards here in New York City. What an exceptional evening it's been celebrating with the honorees and watching the performers do their thing. On your screen, you're looking at Isaac Boateng who is the CEO and co-founder of Face to Face Africa, the young man who is doing wonderful things restoring the image of Africa. And to his right to have the great Awila Longomba with his team. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching our show this week and we hope you've had as much fun watching as we've had bringing it to you. Here's Nikki signing out from New York. We'll see you next time.